All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how to add fractions using tape diagrams. And the idea is these tape diagrams are really gonna illuminate, and make visual why the standard algorithm works the way it works for adding fractions. Why do we need common denominators? Why do we have to multiply the top and the bottom by the same number and all that sort of stuff? So let's get started. All right, so to add 2 thirds plus 1 fourth, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two tape diagrams, each of these represents one whole, and we're going to draw two-thirds and one-fourth. So two-thirds is going to look something like that, and one-fourth is going to look something like that, and let's do a little shading in just so that we could be clear. So there's two-thirds, and then there's one-fourth. All right. Now, the, the problem is, right now, our units are not the same. These thirds are much bigger than these fourths, and so we can't add these directly. So what we need to do is we need to chop these intervals up into smaller pieces so that our intervals are the same. A nice kind of system for doing that is to take each of the thirds and cut them into four pieces and cut e take each of these fourths and cut them into three pieces. So it's kind of like the opposites. Take each of these three, cut them into fours. Take each of these fours and cut them into threes. And if we do that, if we take each of these three uh, thirds and cut them into four pieces, we're gonna get 12 pieces. And if we take each of these four uh, fourths and cut them into thirds, into three pieces each, we're gonna get 12 pieces. So yeah, that's it might be a little hard to see, so let's, uh, in, in your brain, so let's just draw it, let's, let's do it. So we're gonna take each of these thirds and cut them into four pieces, like so, and then we're gonna take each of these fourths and cut them into three pieces, and I'm kinda of color coding to kinda of help you see. Um, <clears throat> and now all of a sudden we see that our intervals, <laughs> if I had drawn it perfectly, um, are, are the same, right? Now the neat thing is these two-thirds are no longer two-thirds. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's now eight out of twelve, isn't it? Eight out, whoa, eight out of 12. That's a mess. That's supposed to be an eight. And, and this one-fourth is no longer one-fourth. It's now three out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's three out of 12. And look at that. So we now have two-thirds is now eight-twelfths. One-fourth is now three twelfths, and we can add those together to get, whoa, <laughs> 11 twelfths. So let's try that again with three fourths plus two fifths. So again, we're going to begin by representing these two fractions on uh, tape diagrams. So let's do three fourths, looks something like that, and then th two fifths, oh my goodness, uh, one, two, three, four, five, something like that. So three fourths, oh, let's do it in red. So that's gonna look like one, two, three, and then two fifths is gonna look like this. And so the idea is we don't have equal intervals, do we? Our pieces are not the same. So we need to make them the same. So we're gonna take each of these fourths and cut them into five pieces. We're gonna take each of these fifths and cut them into four pieces. That's how we're gonna guarantee that we get our common intervals. And so, oh, let's do it in blue. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. 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 So there's our intervals for the three-fourths. Now let's do the same thing for our two-fifths. We're gonna take each of these five pieces and cut them into four pieces. So one, two, three, four. 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 Now parents and teachers, it's always nice to teach your kids some cool tricks for how do we cut things into fourths. 
you know, the idea of cutting it in half and then other things in half, you know, they just teach your kids the meaning of fractions while you're doing this. How do we nicely and efficiently make these fractions? Anyway, but the idea is we no longer have three-fourths. We can name it something different. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this three-fourths is now 15 out of 20, isn't it? And so it's 15 twentieths. And then the two-fifths down here is no longer just two-fifths. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of 20. So it's eight out of 20. And then when we add those together, we get 23 twentieths. And at this point, I'm just going to leave it as 23 twentieths. Um, although I could just change it to 1 and 3 twentieths. Okay. All right. Now, the idea is we want students to start to see this idea, this connection. Now, how do we take the 3 fourths and turn it into 15 twentieths? Well, we took each of the fourths and cut it into five pieces, which means we took each of the fourths that were shaded in and cut those into five pieces. And, and then the same thing, well, let's take a look at that right here. So each of these fourths were cut into five pieces. That's why we times by five. And because there were three fourths that were shaded in, we times three times five, and that gave us 15 twentieths. Well, now let's do the same thing for two fifths, right? So each of those fifths were cut into four pieces. So each of those fifths were cut into four pieces. So each of these two fifths that were shaded in, these two fifths were cut into four pieces. So that's going to multiply by four. And the idea is we want students to start to see this connection between the standard algorithm and this visual representation that makes the standard algorithm make sense. Let's do one more example. So let's do two-thirds plus, I don't know, uh, <laughs> one-fifth. Okay, so there's our two-thirds plus one-fifth. So I'm going to quickly just sketch out two-thirds plus one-fifth. And you'll notice I'm not going to be as, as nice and tidy and awesome two, three with my, my drawing at this point because I'm trying to slowly get us towards that standard algorithm. So here's our two-thirds. Here's our one-fifth. And the idea is we want to cut these into equal intervals because right now we can see our pieces are not equal. They're not the same. Thirds are much bigger than fifths. So uh, I'm going to cut each of the thirds into five pieces. I'm going to cut each of the five into three pieces, right? And so when I do that, let's see, each of the thirds into five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then each of the five fifths into three pieces. All right, we can now see that we have 15 pieces and 15 pieces, so our our um, units are the same. So mathematically, what is that going to look like? Well, each of these thirds got cut into five pieces. So that means I'm going to take each of those thirds whoa, and multiply by five. And each of these thirds, there are two thirds, and I'm going to multiply those by five. And then what am I going to do with the fifths? Well, each of the fifths we're cut into three pieces. So fifths times three, and there was one fifth that was shaded in, and it also got cut into three pieces. So, so there is our uh, standard algorithm right there. And so what do we get? We end up with 10 fifteenths plus three fifteenths, which gives us 13 fifteenths. And now you can t really see right here, there is that standard algorithm. And parents and teachers, eventually, we're going to no longer need to draw the pic 
pictorial representation because we can just go straight to that standard algorithm.